Each morning, Roger Soucy of Croton on Hudson, New York, puts these two insole-shaped magnets, which cost about $100, into his shoes and begins his day. Good morning. Good morning, hon. How are you? How's the coffee, hot? Roger is one of nearly 16 million people in the United States with diabetes. What do you think we're going to have for breakfast? Well, we'll... I don't know. First. Yeah, have coffee right. first. We'll think about it. Right. So I see you've been walking much better, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah still. Yeah. Robert's a man that um, had very severe diabetes, and he uh, had bad pain, which we call neuropathic pain. It was interfering with his sleep and lifestyle. Dr. Michael Weintraub is a clinical professor of neurology at New York Medical College. He treated Roger for four months. He lost the ability to sweat in his feet. He has the form that is what we call anesthetic or stage four. Uh, diabetic peripheral neuropathy and that means that he doesn't feel when I touch him with a pin or when I put a temperature control on him he doesn't know any of those senses he can't appreciate that that's pretty bad oh quite painful every time I put the foot down that I would get a pain in the arch going right through to the top of the foot which caused me to limp to favor it can you feel After that? trying various conventional treatments for and the pain, Roger then went to Weintraub. Are you able to appreciate if this is warm or cold? That's cold. He said he's got some experimental thing he wants to try, and that's the magnetic soles in the shoe. Magnets are being used to treat everything from pain and stress to offsetting the effects of depression. It's $5 billion worldwide in the United States and Canada last year almost five hundred million dollars was spent on magnetic devices without any scientific validation scientific validation is just what Weintraub is trying to do now this sweating has only occurred since I've given you since the magnet I, right. and you've not had that for three years is that correct That's right. Okay. basically as a physician who deals with pain I am seeing people who are very desperate and many times I've had people come into my office wearing magnets and I say what are you doing what, what is that he said oh these are the only thing that helps me and you start to say, okay. So I want you to continue wearing them in your feet, in the shoes. I wore magnetic soles in the shoe for a month and a half, and I felt all this pain disappearing. I used to walk with a limp to favor the pain, but I don't walk with a limp anymore, and it's working out pretty good. The theory is our bodies are magnetically sensitive, and we are, in fact, a magnet. And if we put a magnet on our cells or on any type of cell, the basic premise would be the MRI. We put you into a, a magnetic device, and we're able to move water molecules back and forth, and with different frequencies, we can see the interior of your brain without hurting you. When we stimulate you with magnetic fields, like with pulsed electromagnetic fields, we can heal bone. We can change the way people feel. Now, the theory is that these magnets will interfere with abnormal function of certain cells that are producing pain. When a person experiences numbness, tingling, and burning, the mean, it means that the nerve is constantly depolarizing or firing. So what I believe the magnet is doing is resetting the nerve. It is repolarizing the nerve and trying to get it back to normal. I'm going to stimulate another nerve. That's not working. Let me try stimulating the upper nerve here. His progress has been spectacular. Now, Not only yeah, is it spectacular because after six weeks of wearing these magnets constantly, he feels that he has less pain, less discomfort, he's sleeping better. But now, for the first time in three years, his foot is sweating. You're wearing the magnets all the time? Every day. All right, take the other shoe. The significance of the sweating is that many diabetics lose the ability to sweat in their limbs. This loss can lead to infections and traumas, which can lead to amputation. According to the Centers for Disease Control, more than half of all lower limb amputations occur among diabetics. Gradually, this pain started to leave me when I started wearing this. And uh, it was just fine. And I'm happy with them, so... <laughs> Now I'm going to decrease because we're trying to find In an out effort to get to the bottom of this magnet involved. mystery, Weintraub devised a year-long study in 1995. I started with a study of 14 patients. Again, very skeptical because I didn't believe this. I thought it was BS. And I did electrical tests before and at the end of four months. And I also did a neurological exam before and every month just to see if there was any change because I wanted to know 
if and when it did change, if there was anything associated. And they would keep scores every day, more than once a day, and I would monitor this and then every month give them a new sheet, etc. And what I found was very striking. I found 75% of the diabetics and 50% of the non-diabetics got better. I would wake up with the most unbelievable pains in my feet. I used to put water on them and go take baths, take ride a bicycle, <laughs> but you know, it was terrible. And then they, I, now I'm fine, <laughs> sleeping. It's unbelievable. To me, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so I want you to continue to wear them constantly because the effect will wear off if you don't utilize it. Dr. Weintraub is pleased with the initial results, but in an effort to get more data on the benefits of magnet therapy, he has solicited some help. I have all seven podiatry medical schools in the United States and the five largest foot and ankle centers. And now I'm expanding this so that I can get into just about every state and to get large numbers because I would like to complete this study of 300 patients within one year. This is WCBS New York, an Infinity Broadcasting Station. WCBS News Time 323. And if you think all those health claims about magnets are a bunch of hooey, hooey. hey, think again. Well, there's been a lot of hoopla about what magnets can do, and it's kind of bewildering to expect all these things to happen. And I, w I was open-minded, but I was skeptical in this. But I just did the study that had to be done initially just to see if I could see benefit in people who should not get better. And that happened. But I didn't know if it was a placebo. So then I did a placebo crossover trial. And again, there was a benefit that was not placebo. And that's what led me to this. This is News Channel 4, live at 5. But one of the most painful problems is a kind of nerve damage in the feet that is very resistant to treatment. Until, believe it or not, magnets came along. I've tried everything, and nothing seems to work. But now a new study published today in the Archives of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation finds that magnets may provide effective relief. Dr. Michael Weintraub designed a national, multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled experiment. Michael Mondopoli was part of the study. The needles and pins, the numbing, that, like your foot, that's what's eliminated, and that's the big pain that keeps you awake at night. Dr. Weintraub says it's only a certain kind of bipolar magnetic insole that seems to help because they penetrate the feet enough to make a difference. And he now believes that it's not a placebo effect. Within six weeks, the placebo response just plateaued, whereas the people who were wearing these therapeutic devices continue to have less and less pain. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Michael Monpopoli is unsteady when he walks and always in some level of pain. But his pain has now been lessened somewhat. For over four months, Michael has been wearing magnets in his shoes. He was in a study conducted by neurologist Dr. Michael Weintraub of the New York Medical College in Valhalla. Nearly 400 patients around the country took part. All those in the study fit the same criteria. They have to have specific abnormalities on their examination. They have to complain of pain in a moderate or severe incapacitating way. The foot pads were worn day and night for four months, and the results showed people who had the real magnets had some significant improvement in one or more of the symptoms. Significant reduction of pain, of numbness and tingling, and also burning pain in the feet. I was also one of those people who was extremely, extremely skeptical until we decided to do these studies scientifically and look at the facts. There is some biological activity here. I had spoken to private foundations. I had spoken to pharmaceutical companies. No one was interested. And so when you have an enlightened person like Tom Watanabe, state that I believe in my product, do what you got to do, and, you know, I'll take my chances. I mean, that shows me uh, not only a vision, but a courageousness that only, if it was only infectious and could spread to uh, many other communities and divisions, uh, this would be a much better place. And we would get much more studies done, many more studies done, of areas that need to be looked at. 